This happened in 2014, 2015, um, very long time ago. So I was in the casino back in the day, you know, I used to go to the casino a lot. And that night I lost like $4,000. Um, and my cousin had left a blunt in the back seat. So I smoked. After I lost the $4,000, I smoked the weed. And I'm driving. I'm driving... You know, I'm going Parkway North in Jersey. I ended up in Philadelphia because I took the wrong exit. That was how high I was. And in Philly, I'm, I'm driving lost and I got a strong pain in my chest, in my heart. This pain, it was like somebody was pulling on my heart. Now, I'll tell you this. When I was high, I felt somebody come into me. Like another person, another being. In the Bible, it says that Satan entered Judas. Satan entered Judas. When he did, when he gave Jesus up. In that same way, maybe the, the drugs... The weed gave the demon power to come into me. So he comes into me and I can feel in the spirit like the horns on my head. I can't see them. But I can feel the presence. And the pain is so intense. So I have to pull over to a Dunkin' Donuts. I go into the back seat. Um, and I'm laying there just holding my chest holding my chest next thing you know I'm passed out I'm passed out I died I had a heart attack I can't tell you but what I can tell you is that I, I wake up next to my body and I can see my body laying there in the back seat so I'm outside of my body right now and I can see my body there in the back seat next thing you know I'm falling through a dark tunnel dark tunnel I can feel the movement going down and then I fall to a dark cave like a stone cave it was very hot um, there was no fire now, I could see some type of light in the distance. I could tell, I could see that it was fire, but I can only see the light from it reflecting on the on the rocks. Now, next thing you know, there's two two big demons behind me. Very tall, ugly, nasty. They had horns on their heads. They had horns on their heads and they were pushing me to take me somewhere. They were pushing me. There was like a little thing, like a little road or pathway and they were pushing me through it. And this thing, I remember so vividly. Oh my God. They were pushing me, pushing me. And one of them had a, um, a spear in his hands long spear and he started stabbing with, with the spear he started stabbing with the spear and it was going right through me and I can see it on the other side it was so painful so intense but still this body that I have it's not dying like the bible say, says that the worm dies not you know, you can't die. <laughs> Even if you want to die in hell, you can't die. No matter the pain, no matter what happens to you. I've seen all the testimonies of people that they have been in their bare bones alive. How can you explain that? 
so this demon is stabbing me, stabbing me, and and I'm just crying. I'm just, you know, what have I done? I'm crying, crying. At that moment, I don't remember calling on Jesus. I didn't do that when I when I was there. But the next day. I woke up in the back seat. Now, when I passed out, I don't know what, if I died or not, but I seen my body from the outside. So I could say that I died. I passed out. I don't know. Next day I wake up. Um, everything was much clear. It was spring in the outside. And I could see flowers on the ground, like the petals, and I could smell them. I could see everything clear, like the colors were more vividly. It was like I was freed, liberated. I had, I got another chance. And that was my experience of hell. I made it sure because I know people got things to do, but I wanna, I wanna get this opportunity to say another experience that I had. This was in 2016 or 15, one of those years. Now this one I'm gonna say now it happened last year, where I seen a person in my living room telling me something in the middle of the night. But I didn't see that person through through my eyes. I saw it. I'm explaining to you. So I'm sleeping on the couch. I'm sleeping on the couch in my mom's house. Now, I don't know if you got paralysis before, like sleep paralysis before. Well, you can't move, you can't do nothing that happened to me. I couldn't move. Let me tell you, at this time um, that this happened, I was fasting a lot. I was looking for the Lord, looking for the Lord. I heard God's voice a couple times. And I was at one point, I fasted like seven days straight without eating or drinking seven to ten days something like that and um i ended up in the hospital it was crazy but it was around this time last year that this happened to me i'm sleeping on the couch i got sleep paralysis i can't move and this time i'm calling on jesus i'm calling jesus because I, I could it could be a, a like an attack on my life from the demons they they go on top of you i don't know but I think that that's whenever you get strip paralysis, you get an attack from from the demons. So I'm calling on Jesus, not with my mouth because I can't move. In my mind, I'm like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then when I could say it, Jesus, boom, I could move. And immediately, I wake up on the floor. I wake up on the floor, and I can explain to you. I'm sitting on the floor, and when I see, again, I see my body on the couch sleeping. How do you explain that? I'm Again, I'm outside of my body. I'm in the spirit, sitting on the floor. I see my body on the couch. And then, on the left side of the couch, on my by my feet, I see... A person sitting there like a shadow like a, a person sitting there I didn't see his face because it was dark but I, I know it was like a the, the outline of a person and if I felt so much peace when I seen him and he says in the most calm voice in Spanish he, he spoke to me in Spanish he said Ephraim it is time for you to be more elastic it is time for you to be more elastic. And when he said that to me, I understood it. And then I, I put my hand on my chest and I said, but I'm afraid. Even though I felt peace from him, like he knew me, I said, but I'm afraid. And as soon as I said, but I'm afraid, boom, I wake up in the couch. So I, I, don't, I can't explain how that happened. 
I, I transported or my or my soul was pulled into my body so quickly that I just woke up in the couch. But that was a crazy story that I wanted to put here because, you know, God is telling you to you to be more elastic. Like when somebody, when people pull you apart this way or the other way, you come back. To your happy place and don't don't let nobody move you or the other way if you're too too strict or too stuck in one way you can let somebody else stretch you to do something new you know be more elastic and i've used them many many ways in my life after that because at that time i was too much strict i was fasting too much too long no water you know, I was breaking things in my house, like paintings. And my dad painting, I was like, you know, that's from the devil or things that I thought that didn't please God. I was just breaking them and cleaning my house from cursed objects and stuff like that. But maybe he, God told me, you know, to calm down, be more elastic. And that was very crucial in my life. Um... You know, that could have been an angel. Personally, I think that was the Holy Spirit that I saw. I don't, but I can't make that claim. I didn't see his face. And I, it was purposely that I couldn't see his face. Um, Could have been Jesus. You tell me in, in the comments. I don't know who, who it was, but to me, it was the Holy Spirit. Because he felt like that this person that I saw knew me he said it is time for you to be this and that it is time so he was telling me he's been following me or he he's been paying attention to me with that one sentence he said this guy knows me cares about me like he's there next to me and he is next to me right now. So God is telling you to be more elastic. You know, Jesus said, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Wow. Just that verse alone should make you tremble at Jesus' feet. He is the only one that can save you and help you. I've been to hell. I've seen it. I've, I've had the grace from God to seen things ahead of time. Now I know I can't I can't be going to casinos no more. You know, he took me out of smoking cigarettes. That's the that's the most nastiest habit that you can have and one of the strongest to break. I couldn't do it for many years, but I'm free from it. Um and he's still helping me every day. So, you know, but now I know what I've seen with my own eyes. And not only with my eyes, with my f senses. I felt pain in hell. I felt heat in hell. Also, I seen this person outside of my body in my, in my couch telling me this. You know, that's a privilege that I wanted to share. Because maybe he did that so I can share it. And, and, and maybe somebody... Is having doubts if God is real if God is not real I'm telling you he's real there's no doubt about that he's so real and Jesus Christ is the only way as says in the Bible the scriptures is the only way period so I hope this helped you and uh, God bless you